dum ba dum ba Holy smokes, I didn't expect to see anybody out here. Whew. Well, you guys are a huge trapping expedition. I've never seen so many people in one trapping expedition. You must be with the Hudson Bay Company, right? Wow, that's impressive. You know, and I can tell you're definitely brand new to this area because I don't see a single piece of deer skin or elk skin out there. It looks like mostly cotton. You know, uh, you, guys, you guys must have fallen in that last creek crossing. You look like you're soaking wet. And you look like you're having a hard time getting a fire going, too. Hey, why don't you gather around? Let me, let me get a fire going here. Hey, by the way, I don't mean to be impolite. My name is Jimmy Saskatoon, and I'm an American free trapper from Virginia originally. Every self-respecting mountain man always carries some dry tinder with him. And even on a wet day, I can still get a fire going with a bow drill. You know, when I first came to this area as a mountain man, I came here to get rich and to live free. Well, I'm doing a pretty good job of living free. Can't say much about the getting rich. It's really mostly the, the traders and the suppliers at the rendezvous. Those are the guys who are getting rich. Us mountain men, we're pretty much just breaking even. All right, if you can gather some tinder and maybe some kindling while, uh, while I'm getting this going, that'd be great. Great thing about this is you actually warm up while you're doing it, too. Yeah, you smell that smoke? Yeah, I've got it up to about 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I'll have to explain that word Fahrenheit to you later. Okay, and now that I've created a hot coal, I'm at about 500 degrees Fahrenheit, believe it or not. And I don't have flame yet. What I need to do is I need to tap that hot coal into my tinder bundle, and then I'll blow it into flame. Get that kindling ready. Ah. Boy, fantastic. Let's gather those sticks around. Whew, nothing like a hot fire. You know, I came to this area in 1807. Uh, actually, it was just after 1807. John Coulter beat me to it in 1807. Got here right after then. And I've been here for almost 30 years. Hard to believe, really. This valley is beautiful, isn't it? Boy, Les Trois Titans. That's what the French Canadians call it. I've seen it from the west side, from Pierre's Hole. I've also seen it from the east side, here in Jackson's Hole, I don't know, those French trappers just have a better imagination than I do. <laughs> you know, the whole mountain man economy is based on this little, actually big, rodent right here, the beaver. It's amazing. What we do is we trap these guys, we skin them, we dry them. They get stacked and sent by keelboat down the Platte River, maybe down the Missouri, down to St. Louis. And in St. Louis, then they get dispersed to different factories. And what they do in the factories is they take off the outer guard hairs, then they shave off the inner fur, and they take that inner fur and they mix it with, with water and soap, and they make felt out of it. Then they take that felt and they make a beaver felt hat. Pretty amazing to think that our, our whole mountain, mountain man way of life has to do with a style of hat. Wealthy Americans and Europeans are wearing those hats. Well, I know you guys are all new to this area, and I don't want to have to break this to you, but I kind of feel like this mountain man era is, is coming to a, a close. I would say for two big reasons. One is, boy, in the last 30 years, the number of beaver in this area have certainly declined. I imagine with an expedition this big, they're going to decline a little bit more. But you know, you know that's the sad part. The, the kind of humorous part is that I've heard rumor, now granted this is just a rumor, but I've heard that that felt hat that I was telling you about that's so stylish with so many different people, I've heard that that actually that style is changing and it looks like it's changing possibly to a silk hat from silkworms in China. Pretty interesting, I think. You know, I'm going to be okay, I imagine, if the mountain man era comes to an end. I might get a farm going down on the plains. I even heard that the U.S. Army is planning on hiring guides for some of their expeditions in the West. So I've got some, got some opportunities there. You know what I hope? I hope that when people come here in the future, here to beautiful Jackson's Hole, when people come here in the future, I hope, well, 50 years from now, let's say 2012, I hope that people come here and love this place as much as I do. And I hope that people come here and they see this place as not some place to get rich, but some place to protect and preserve.
That's what I hope. Well, daylight's burning, folks. I'm going to leave you guys to your trapping. I actually, just before I ran into you, I actually lost my mule. I had a close encounter with a cougar. And so I need to go find him now. I wish you the best of luck in your trapping endeavors. <laughs>